All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harba Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. And here we are with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. And as watchmen, as men of the Lord, servants of prophets, a part of our job is to give the sheep, to give the church warning. All right. So we give you warning from what's to come. And as the Lord said, matter of fact, let's get this. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. <clears throat> Chapter three. And I'm going to hit the point. book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 it says son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me and see that's what we are doing we are giving you warning and a part of giving warning we have to make you be aware of the false prophets that's out here as well which they, a lot of them are Hebrew Israelites. They are. They are of our own people. But does that mean that they are telling you the truth? Does that mean that they are warning you? Just because someone says that they are Hebrew Israelites doesn't mean they're trying to guide you in the right direction. Whether it's out of ignorance or whether it's because they were bought and paid for now you see where this lesson is going um this is from uh i believe he's the second in command if i'm not mistaken but if you know anything about the isupk group this uh i believe he's the second in command he goes by the name of tazar yak all right now this is what he just posted and this is on his facebook all right and uh ISUPK is another one of the groups that likes to downplay the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right. Along with another uh, known group who goes by the name of IUIC. And a few others, you know, you got other different groups talking about the mark of the beast is spiritual. Right. The mark of the beast is white women. The mark of the beast is sin. See, these are some of the things that these groups are saying, right? But now in this case, as you can see, you know, on his post, he mentioned, so the vax is the mark of the beast. I thought the microchip was. Now, we know who he's trying to come at because we here at the Church of Great Millstone, we teach that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, which you can clearly see it if you have eyes to see. Now I want to uh, go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 10. And it says, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. So a lot of these guys, these groups... These men, they call themselves prophets, men of the Lord, you know, watchmen for Israel, right? But are they truly watching out for you, Israel? Because a true watchman, and they see the things that's about to come upon the city, right? If you're on a watchtower and you see um, from a distance that you know, you see and you hear the rumblings of the ground shaking. You see from a distance that a army is approaching. What do you do? You sound off an alarm, a warning alarm, a war alarm. So everyone can get ready for battle. So they can what? Or so you can what? So you can defend the city and even, you know, get a point to go out there and meet that army in the field. So you prepare yourself. All right. In a, in a nutshell, you prepare yourself. All right. 
Well, these other groups, and you know, mainly the ones that I have mentioned, they are not preparing you uh, what's to come. Okay, see, we report on everything that's taking place. Right, everything is reported because we are the we are the the true watchmen. We are the true news forecasters. Okay, and as we see things happening across the world, you know. We link it and line it up with prophecy. All right. We're being see, we're being circumspect and we're keeping things in reality. All right. Or we deal with reality. Okay. And we keep these things that we see happening, you know, in our minds and say, okay, this is what they're gonna try, this is what they're gonna wanna pull, they're gonna do this for that, you know. Cause all this is coming down the line. And I'm going to get to the point dealing with this Maxine, right? The Maxine is an introduction. It's, it's a prelude to what Esau wants to push on society, right? That's all the Maxine is, you know? Now, I mean, not all saying that, but I'm talking about for the prelude that's to set up the system of the infrastructure, you know, leading to... The mark of the beast system. Okay. Now we know the Maxine is dangerous for your body. You know, see when you put this Maxine in your body, these are different, you know, different chemicals, you know, that aren't supposed to be in your body. You know, so yes, we do tell our people don't get it. It could be linked to this or it could be linked to that. You know, we don't know what the hell is in that. So we tell our people don't get it. And we also let them know that this is a prelude to what really E wants to do. All right. So we at the Church of Great Millstone, we never said that Maxine was the mark of the beast. You know what we teach. See, this is something that if a person is not paying attention and they being a zombie, like Apostle Tahor always say, then they'll fall for this BS that you're talking about. Because for you to say, y'all gonna have to make your minds up on this. No, no, no. You know what we teach. We teach that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. And we teach that the vax, the vax is a prelude. It's a prelude he is using. You know, to usher in this whole mark of the beast system. You see, we know that he does things in gradualism. He does things in steps, right? He don't just throw it on you all at once, but he, use, he, he does it in steps. All right? So, as you see, uh, uh, I guess there's a person who made a comment. They said, that's a good question, Ock, and a stupid one at that. You see, see, while you people are playing games, while you playing games, this thing is about to get very serious, and the time for playing games is about to be over. Okay? So, get a few more. I'm going to get two more scriptures. I'm going to wrap it up, you know? Because everyone wants to downplay the seriousness of the mark of the beast, man. Oh, we don't know what it is. Right? It's this and it's that. All right. The time for playing games is about to be over. The book of Revelation 14, verse 9, and it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead, forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay? So knowing that this is a judgment for taking the mark of the beast, knowing how, knowing the seriousness of that judgment, why wouldn't you take the mark of the beast serious? Why wouldn't you be warning your people and letting them know of, hey, this, the mark of the beast is a serious matter. So don't take it. It's this. 
Not, well, you know, GMS got it wrong on the Mark of the Beast, you know, but we think the Mark of the Beast is white woman. Because I mean, th these are different things that they have said. And it's on video. The Mark of the Beast is white woman. The Mark of the Beast is sin. You know, and I'm referring to two different camps, separate camps, the I, uh, ISBK and IUIC. You know, but it, the, the Mark of the Beast is being downplayed on a whole nother level, man, by Israelites. You see, this is why we warn you of these different groups. I mean, you can listen to who you want to listen to. That's a, that's on you. Scriptures talk about the simple belief of every word. Okay. But you want to be like the Bereans. You want to study the scriptures and, and, and uh, you know, see uh, what this person is saying is right. If it links up to the scriptures, you know, and as we break the whole mark of the beast thing down, as we go into the system and the infrastructure that he is setting up with this thing, using this vax as a, as a prelude, you know, as, as a step to everything, it, it, it lines right up. It lines right up how everything is being digitalized and uh, cash is being pushed out. And we know that you're going to be only to be able to buy and sell by having this chip. We know that is the mark of the beast. So, yes, the mark of the beast is the microchip, man. And the vax is just a prelude. So quit playing games. You see, quit playing games. You know, so. Verse 11, it says, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. You see? So, if you initially taken the microchip, which we know is the mark of the beast, that is going to be a sign of you what? Choosing. That is going to be a sign of you... Uh, Choosing of E being your master, E having the rule over you, right? You worshiping the beast in his image. You see? So go ahead. You know, you, you people want to keep playing games, you know, ab about this whole vaccination situation and this market to be situation. Go ahead. You, you, you see what's going to come upon you. Because he even dealing with the vaccination, and I'm going to say this and wrap it up, wrap it up. You know, uh, Bro, E's about to come down with force just behind that. And, you know, not even, you know, force by making you take it in some cases, which some cases he will. You know, maybe different states and countries or however he's going to do it, you know, but he's going to, um, we know he's going to squeeze people out who don't take the vaccination. You know, that's what he's going to do. He's going to squeeze you out. He's going to, he's going to force everything around you to, you know, be set up in a way of, you know, they need this, 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 this vaccination passport to enter into here, to enter into there, okay, to come outside, you know, just like how I remember they did in the back in the day is, uh, they used to allow slaves go to different plantations, what they used to say, you got your, basically, your, uh, your plantation ID, you know, your certificate, your, your your pass to be out here, boy. It's the same thing. What they want to say, you know, with this 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 vaccination uh, passport to be allowed be allowed to travel to here and there. Because other than that, they're gonna be looking at you like you should be quarantined, right? We don't need you running around here out in society, you know, spreading that spreading the uh, the virus. Just what they're gonna use and they're gonna push. You see, so I mean, so vaccination will be a big deal, too, because a lot of people are about to lose, you know, a lot of things behind not taking it. You know, at the end of the day, we got to continue to stay prayed up, you know, and have faith in y'all about enough said that we may be able to be delivered and took care of in the times that we're coming into. Because it's about to get very serious for Jake out here in these streets, man. You know, so I thought I'd touch on that through the spirit. Beware of false prophets because they are out here. They are amongst us. 
Okay, meaning they are calling themselves Hebrew Israelites, even though they're leading you down the path of destruction, you know. They're leading you uh, the broadest way that lead you to destruction and not to the straight gate. So, you know, I just wanted to touch on that through the spirit. No, I wouldn't hope it was edifying. Till next time, I want to say Shalom.